What is happening, YouTube? So, the Chargers had a, a primetime football game against the Ravens. Um, supposed to be a good game, but unfortunately, the Ravens just dominated us throughout uh, both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Um, they beat us in a rush game. Justin Herbert, he was doing whatever he could. Um, you know, the first quarter, um, the Chargers was looking really good. Um, the refs robbed us a touchdown, which was a huge factor. Um, Brandon Staley making boneheaded decisions as he does, as usual. Two boneheaded decisions. One was wasting a timeout because he called a timeout when the Ravens was already that close to the touchdown line. So he pretty much just blew that one away. And the second one was um, he, we t the Chargers took a delay of game instead of start of calling a timeout. That could have definitely, like you know, um, help us advanced, but we took the five yard penalty. So Staley, he's doing his typical incompetencies, and of course, not to forget our defensive rotation still like like way too like far too ugly, way too far back. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still the same old Chargers. Um, Justin Herbert, he he needs help, man. He needs help eventually. He. He literally is doing whatever he could. He's literally a cheat code. Without Justin Herbert, we'd be we'd be like the Carolina Panthers or the Arizona Cardinals. But now at this point, we are gonna be like the Arizona Cardinals and get a high pick. Come on, Malik neighbors, Malik neighbors, or swing up and trade up for Marvin Harrison Jr. But anyways, Justin Herbert did whatever he could. He even had to play like a running back. Um, Justin Herbert, he's literally playing like Aaron Rodgers and Christian McCaffrey at the same time. <clears throat> literally doing whatever possible to help this team. I literally feel bad for this man. He's literally the best running back of the league. Austin Eckler, he's been a fraud lately. Um, Eckler, he, he's definitely not who the media says he is. Um doesn't really advance in the yardage he does at times but at the same time um he fumbles the ball way too much in the key moments fumbled in green bay fumbled right now um eckler you know he gets his touchdown moments but i don't know eckler hasn't been it and i think it's time to move on from him i um, wish that we moved on from eckler during the trade deadline uh, Joshua Kelly should probably get more reps at this point. Um, Darius Davis definitely should not use him for rushing because he is, you know, way too lanky. But he's amazing for being a punt return. Keenan Allen, he fumbled too. Love him as a player. And he did his thing eventually, but he fumbled the ball too much. Gerald Everett, he maneuvered his way to get touchdown. Quentin Johnston. Um, didn't get too much of the targets. Um, really sucks because you're going against Zay Flowers who torched the Chargers. Um, Lamar Jackson, um, a for third, 18 for 32. He didn't even have a, a crazy game, which sucks because I wanted him to have, like, if we lose, I'd rather have Lamar, like, throw a lot of yards because, um, I had them in the prize picks and, uh, sleeper parlay and I lost a lot of cash on that and not to forget I thought the Chargers were going to win tonight so I lost a lot of cash on that so that's a huge bummer for me so ter uh, terrible night for me um, but anyways um, you know everybody was killing us in their own ways um, rushing your especially Keaton Mitchell Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers literally had that rush and threw the nail in the coffin. Um, you know, Justin 
Justice Hill, Gus Edwards, um, receiving. Everybody did their own part. Um, even in the, even like there were moments when the Ravens was just quiet on the offensive end, but you know, Chargers just couldn't really score because Herbert doesn't have the weapons. Justin Herbert, I gotta feel terrible for this man. Um, me and my brother, Primetime Sports Podcast, both of our favorite players share the same pain. Um, he, Primetime Sports Podcast, he's a big Daniel Jones fan. Um, he's been struggling lately. Um, he has like the worst O line in the league. Justin Herbert, he's ha- he's dealing with the same situation. Um, it's just, uh, the media's not really talking about the old line right now because Justin Herbert, he knows how to handle pressure. And he sometimes, even when he gets pressured, he finds a way to get out of it. But it could be, like, it can only be so much. Um, Justin Herbert... I'd say he's literally in the worst situation possible because it's hard to succeed, man. Not only he has a bad O line, he ha- he doesn't have any like uh, running backs. Actually, he'd be dropping too much. Um, you know his receivers. It's only Keenan Allen, um, Quentin Johnston. Um, he has his moments, but he's been dropping some passes. Um. Who are then other other wide receivers? It would be always like a miscommunication and all that. Jail Everett though, he looked he looks better though. But but Herbert, I gotta feel terrible for this for my brother, man. Dude is like Aaron Rodgers mixed with Christian McCaffrey. Like literally had to play running back too. And Lamar Jackson didn't even have to have a crazy game, man. Like, that's how painful this team is. Staley, it's time for him to go. At this point, just keep him. And then maybe even rest Justin Herbert. Start Easton Stick to tank the whole entire record. Get a high pick. You know, with our own pick, either get Malik Neighbors or Brock Bowers. Or maybe even try to make a swing for a Mar- Maserati Marv. Let's get it. Herbert with Ma- with Maserati Marv would be the most unstoppable duo ever. And Keenan, oh, that would be filthy. But Staley, he gotta go, man. And the O line needs some fixing too. Um, if I were the Chargers, first round. Take the best available. Um, but down on lower rounds, I would strictly try to target at some O-lines, get some O-lines to protect Justin Herbert so he could have, like, more time to throw and all that. Well, start to try to look look at the prospects in the lower rounds. I've been picking up on the NFL draft just like how I am with the NBA draft. But let's talk about the defense. The Ravens. All the all the defense, they did their thing. They did a good job pressuring Justin Herbert. Our defense, um, we looked better. We pressured Lamar Jackson uh, pretty well. Um, it was mainly Khalil Mack. If there's one person that we got to keep in the offseason, we're keeping Khalil Mack because that boy, he's a beast. Tuli Tula Polo too. He's a beast. Um, but yeah, like he be doing his thing. Khalil Mack, he was doing the work. Rest of the de- rest of the defense, they struggled to tackle the running backs, which got the the Ravens much closer. And it looked like we were in the game. The Ravens kicker missed one of the clutch kick, but fortunately for them. They just outmaneuvered, and the Chargers offense just, <clears throat> the Chargers offensive line couldn't protect Justin Herbert enough, so that's why the Chargers just failed to, you know, manage to make a comeback, and it doesn't help when Equi fumbles, like, some key plays in Keenan Allen, so this is just a brutal game for us, and 
pretty much this is the end of the season. And it's time for the Chargers to go tank mode. And like I said, either, you know, try to get Brock Bowers or Malik Neighbors. Or personally, I'm going to try, like, my hardest to make a trade of Marvin Harrison Jr. Because, oh, man, that dude will be so filthy in a Charger uniform. But let me know what you guys think about the Chargers. Um, do you think by any miracles they can sneak into the playoffs? Obviously, I don't think it's likely at this point. Um, we pretty much dig ourselves in the hole. I think we could have definitely went to the playoffs if had we fired Staley during the Jackson after the Jacksonville game, or even. In the beginning of the season, if we lost against the Titans, but nah, our owner was cheap and then just wanted him to stay, so I guess we're taking a tank season. But, anyways, that should end this video. And, oh my goodness, I just cannot help to feel bad for Justin Herbert. Like, literally, he's in the worst situation possible. Daniel, Daniel Jones. Um, he isn't, like, in a painful situation, but at least, like, I'm sure um, Saquon Barkley, like, wouldn't fumble, like, how Austin Neckley would, and Saquon Barkley is a pretty good running back, um, but I don't know, man, like, I feel terrible for Herbert, like, literally so talented, like, I'm literally convinced if you put any other quarterback in the Chargers uniform, I don't think we'd win the game. Especially if we put like a guy like Jalen Hurts or Tua Tagovaiola. Um, they would just look like Jimmy Garoppolo and we'd probably be one for one for nine. But one for nine or even one for ten. But anyways, that should end this video. Um, let me know what you think about this team. Let me know who you got going to the Super Bowl. I could see the Ravens or maybe the Niners um, or maybe the Eagles. But anyways, that should end this video. Thank y'all really much for tuning in. And leave a comment down below. And have a good night. Peace.